Number one is railways. Jubilee promised to improve the rail network in the country, including links with major cities. It also promised to implement the, and actualize the Lapset project in addition to constructing a series of commuter railway networks in all major cities in Kenya. It also promised to, to upgrade the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to a regional hub in addition to expanding and modernizing existing international airports in Kisumu, Mombasa, and Eldoret. You need to know that all these projects were actually started by the Grand Coalition Government. These are not new projects initiated by Jubilee. So Jubilee was just supposed to be implementing what had been started by the Grand Coalition Government. Today, the only rail infrastructure project that the Jubilee has to show is the one it did not start, the standard gauge railway. The only thing it has done to the rail project is to increase its cost. First, it was 220 billion when we left office, which rose to 327 billion after this, the China Railways uh, was allowed to uh, include locomotives, passenger cabins, and wagons. The cost later rose to 447 billion to cater for land acquisition, loan insurance, and loan processing fees. To this, Kenyans will add another 150 billion for the newly conceived Nairobi Naivasha line, which has become more expensive and the Nairobi Mombasa line. And it needs to be known that in Naivasha, that railway is going into a private land owned by some people who are known in this country. Second is roads. In the State of the Nation Address, President Uhuru Kenyatta said the government has constructed 3,000 kilometers of roads in the last three years. This was a cold-hearted lie. And I'm talking here as a former minister for roads, public works, and housing. And I have the facts. The government constructed no single road in the last two years. It spent those two years pursuing some 260 billion uh, shillings, that is $2.48 billion, from local banks to construct 10,000 kilometers of tarmac roads in three years and an annuity program. Annuity this program is something that is strange and new to this country. And I asked to be told in which country this program has been successfully implemented. That program hit a dead end when the commercial banks refused to fund a project that had been termed as one of the key milestones of the ruling Jubilee administration. Would be lenders disagreed with the government on the rate of interest to be charged on loans issued to contractors. That disagreement also resulted from the Jubilee's failure to manage the economy. And so we challenged the President to show Kenyans the 3,000 kilometers of roads it has constructed in the last three years by category and region. What class of roads, from where to where? The President cannot routine and uh, uh, cannot take routine and periodic road maintenance, uh, including graveling and earth roads, portal patching, bush clearing, and drainage clearance, and report it as an achievement. <laughs> we challenge the president to give Kenyans a breakdown of the GOK funding as budgeted by stating which roads were earmarked for development in the financial year to, to 2013-2014 uh, to 2015-2016 to, to and now 2016-2017, how much was spent and when they got completed. <laughs>